Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at Cars and Coffee and we're going straight in the cars because you don't need to f***ing hear me talk, that's boring. I have to interrupt today's video. I know I told you guys we're going to look at cars, but I just saw and had the opportunity to confront, but I'm a nice person for now. We'll see how I feel in the next hour. My favorite person on the internet, Mr. Daniel Mack is here. And I'm sure if he sees me, he will try everything in his power to not come near me. He knows exactly who I am and I've talked to him before. Oh my god, the spec. Look at that. Look at Jeremy, watch, look at Jeremy, look at Jeremy. He's <laughs> That looks just like Alex's car, and I'm very confused if that is Alex's car and he just sold it. Oh my, oh, why am I looking the other direction? I don't know who rolled up here, but there's a Pista 720, a absolute fucking loft, and that. Okay, I keep getting very distracted. The moral of the story is this. If you don't know, Daniel Mack pretty much took my entire idea of asking supercars what they do for a living and pretty much built his whole career after it. It's never mentioned my name one time. Now, normally I wouldn't care, but if you build your whole career around it, at least give your boy who you know is putting in work in the car space a little bit of credit. So I'm definitely sure it would be great if I confronted him. Will I? Probably not, because I'm nice. We'll see again. How I feel later. Let's hope I don't. <laughs> Look who's obviously here. And whose car I have not seen yet. Hey, I have half of one of these. Honestly, yeah, five cylinder. Yeah, it's just fast, fast faster. <coughs> I'm kidding. Right now I'm on 91, so you still win, probably. I feel significantly less redneck now that I don't have a Camaro. But That's good. It's a good feeling. Well, whose is this? Pops. Uh, yes, yeah, my dad. We gotta get him in an R8 now. Respect it. I'd rather have it. <laughs> yeah, you know the Camaro is fun, but it's just it's so much more tame and it just yeah. feels better. Uh, it's way easy to drive as well, and it's comfy. Is he running slicks or our compounds in the back? Uh, no, this slicks. See, so yeah, that thing probably walked me by a mile, so. I can't make fun of the Camaro. Oh. Yeah, that's loud. A little louder than my car. Daniel, I'm someone I'd like you to meet. <laughs> <laughs> I had to talk to you. <laughs> we have a conversation that yes. needs to be held. Yes, bro. First of all, I'm nice. So <laughs> don't be worried. Am I nice? Yeah, uh, nice. Don't well, lie. No, no, you're nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nice. But I made a lot of videos about you. So. Oh, okay. Hell yeah. Actually, not that many. I made a couple. A few. A few. A few. Three. Here and there. We've known each other. We Three. talked before on IG. Yes. I said we needed to film a video yes, together. Yes, 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 yes. Why do we need to film a video together? <sighs> Go make a viral, baby. No, but why? Why? What? 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 What, what is in common between you and you? Cars. Cars? Just cars. Cars in general. What? What are you popular for? What do you do for a living? And where did you get that idea? Uh, I came up with it myself. You came up with that yourself? Uh, yeah, I didn't see it on TikTok. So you have no idea that I made that same video, word for word. Five years ago. No, no, no clue. Not at all. No, apparently it's been done on YouTube and stuff, but uh, I've That's never me. seen it. That's me. Oh, on YouTube? In like 2016. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, shit. Yeah, before I did car stuff. No, actually, after I did car stuff, I started a lot of trends. People use trends. People, once the trends get so far, it doesn't matter, right? People are going to do them. I don't expect that. No. But your whole brand is the idea I created. Oh, okay. God. Oh, I didn't see it, but, but it's okay. props to you. So it's no props to you. You've done well with it. I actually want to congratulate you on everything. Oh, but I had you. to say hi in front of you about that. Cause yeah, man. It's my baby. And oh, you okay. took my baby over and you went and <laughs> nurtured it. I guess it is what it is. There we go. But it's Daniel back, everybody. We had to say hi, check in. The kid's killing it. So it's a really big shame that he's a nice kid. I kind of wish he was an asshole. You know what I mean? We're gonna give him the benefit of the doubt that he didn't know who I am. Do I want to give him that benefit? No. Is that accurate? Probably not. But I'm going to give it to him. Why? Because like I said, he's a nice kid and I don't know everything. I can't know everything. So we're going to give that to him. Maybe he didn't know somehow and just word for word copied the whole thing. But at least he admitted that I'm the CEO. Also, a video coming soon with James. We're going to car swap with the R8 so I can finally double up on my five cylinder. You know what I mean? Johnny, guess who I just met? Who? Daniel Mack. Oh, the guy that stole your... Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm no longer in California. I think that's obvious because I don't live there. That's where I just was, where I always eat cars and coffee, where I met the wonderful Daniel Mack. And now we're back at the house. I try to incorporate some of these sit-down bits into the videos just because it's a little bit of change of scenery. You know what I mean? I've been outside too much. It's time to come in here and settle down. What we're going to be doing today is not only playing the exhaust notes of what, I think this is Straight Pipe. Straight Pipes deems the best sounding cars, but I'm gonna be guessing them. And you guys can guess them with me. I'm not gonna put them up on the screen, this will be audio only. I'll make sure the volume's all the way up so you guys can hear very well, and I will let you know whether you were right or not. Now, I know the first two cars in the video, but I'm gonna have you guys guess them, and I'll tell you if you're right. After that, I'm gonna close my eyes, and I'm just gonna hit pause and play. If I accidentally see one, so be it. And I'm also gonna let you guys know if I agree that that's one of the best exhaust notes, or if I 
don't agree. And then also I'm gonna mention a couple cars that I personally feel are hands down the best sounding cars. Some cars that I think will be obvious that you probably won't be able to argue with. No offense. <laughs> now, starting with. <laughs> Okay, well that was a big giveaway. Now, if you thought GT3 RS, yes, that was a dot two 3 RS. Obviously revs to 9,000. I honestly, I think PDK is almost impossible to not notice. Again, this is a straight pipes video, so I think there's clips of them talking, so if there is, just ignore it. There's some good lads though, so we'll give it to them. Next up. This one's easy. There's a supercharger in that. That is a Dodge Hellcat. The red eye as well, which I forget what the red eyes are, to be honest with you. They make more power than the regular Hellcat. Hellcats, I think, are what? 707 horsepower? 777? Seven, 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 I think 707 horsepower. It has almost 800 horsepower. The red eye also might come with different suspension or more track setup or maybe lighter. Again, not a Hellcat guy. I just don't care. What the hell is this? It burbles. I think I hear a flame. Okay, that had to be a V6 or an inline six. Sounded very BMW-esque. No, also Mercedes. It could have been a, a weird Mercedes V8. Wait, okay, we gotta go back. Wait, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. I'm hitting the back button. What? I weirdly think it's a Mercedes V8. Oh jeez, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. That's like one of my favorite exhaust notes in the world. It was a V8 though, but a supercharged V8. F-Type SVR. Okay, that has to be a V10. If that's not a V10, I don't know what a V10 is. Maybe it wasn't a V10, let me keep going. It's definitely a Lamborghini. Watch this be a four cylinder, and I'm just the stupidest person ever. It almost sounded manual, like a manual V10. Okay, okay, Huracan Evo. Oh, it was in the winter and it was spinning tires. Hey, thank God I'm not an idiot. <laughs> oh, that's. I mean, it's definitely a V8. I mean, it's a muscle car. Could it? No, because the ZL1 transmissions. This could be a Z06. Could be. Okay, C7 Z06. I was right. That sounds like the SVR engine. That has to be some iteration of the supercharged V8 again. I'm gonna guess a Range Rover Sport SVR. Very interesting. It's actually the new Vantage. Does that not sound more like the supercharged V8 in like the Range SVR or the F-Pace SVR or even an F-Type rather than the Mercedes V8? Listen to it one more time. Sounds good, but it doesn't sound like a Mercedes V8 to me. We're gonna do one more car and I'm gonna see what else they have in this video. Oh jeez. I mean, I want to say another Mercedes because this sounded like the Vantage. I'm just going to go with AMG GTR and I don't think it's that because the AMG GTR sounds deeper and throatier. But this sounded just like the Vantage. Watch this now be like the SVR engine. Jordan. Okay, similar engine. Another twin turbo V8 from Mercedes, but this is my favorite car ever. The E63 wagon. All right, what else do they have in here? They have a 720S. Definitely not. <laughs> We've got the Dot 2 Speedster and a Plymouth Prowler. Is that what that's called? I think that's a Plymouth, yeah. Now, were those the best exhaust notes in the world? No, not even close. I'd give it to the V10 from Audi, from Lambo. That engine note is always gonna be probably the benchmark for V10s right now. And I think just the fact that V10s are coming that loud from factory still, opposed to all the other cars coming with all these regulations, is another reason why they have the lead. Now, some cars that I would've put in there. 
The new Pagani Wire R sounds arguably the best exhaust note of our time right now. The Valkyrie is up there. I'm not sure if we can use that car though because it's not technically finished yet. I mean, it seems pretty finished, but it's not on the road yet. The Lexus LFA, the Carrera GT, even I would say like the W204 C63s, like those sound incredible. The V8 from the 92 M3, I guess I could go on and on. But that was a little bit I wanted to do for the video. That got really long, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you guys are new, I do not ask you to subscribe, but turn those notifications on so you know when I'm uploading if you so choose to follow this channel. We got a lot of cool car content coming. I'm gonna be switching my RS3 back to E85 now that I'm back in Arizona. We got some stuff planned. And I also have some career announcements within the car space hopefully coming soon, something that's not gonna be on this channel, but something that you guys should be really, really excited about because it'll be more of me. Bye.